Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior and welcome back to my K-Pop Reaction channel. I post new K-Pop Reaction videos here almost every single day, so if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, so make sure you go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Check out some other stuff on the channel. Today I'm excited, I'm going to be doing one of my favorite things in all of K-Pop since I started my reaction channel. And that is checking out a brand new girl group debut. Um, yeah, this group is called... Arias, Arias, Ari, Arias, I don't know, um, A R A or A R I A Z. I, you guys know, I normally like to do K profile reactions, um, be, right now because of my throat, um, and, uh, and trying to save my voice if at all possible so I can still make videos. I am not doing that, unfortunately. Um, I did look just briefly. Um, just to check the, like, age range, because I'm always interested, and the, I believe the oldest member was born in 96, and the youngest 2001, so five-year age range, um, not too massive, but, uh, definitely all not an old or young, so, yeah, I'm excited, you guys know I love, I love debuts, and, uh, I'm excited for this one, so here we go. Also, apologies, I know this came out, like, four or five hours ago, um, I didn't know that until I went to click on it, and I was like, oh, came out, oh, I thought it came out at 2 a.m. today, but apparently, or tomorrow, no, today now. I thought it came out at 2 a.m., which is 6 p.m. Korean, but apparently I just completely missed the memo on this one, so apologies, it's kind of late, but regardless, I wanted to get to it. Here we go. Ooh. This production is really unique for the start of a song. It's kind of like distant and faded and textured in a really interesting way. Oftentimes when you see uh, debuts, especially from smaller companies, you don't get this level of like unique production, I feel like. They're starting with like, oh, that's clean. They're starting with pure, like, uh, D and B almost. Even with a cut for a spoken phrase. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Are they just a performance group? Cool. Yo! Yo, hold on, this is so... What? This is good! This is legitimately insanely good! Wait, I'm turning this up? This isn't a pop song with EDM elements, which is pretty common. This is an EDM song with pop elements, which is not common. It's kind of uh, a given, but they pretty. Liking the suit with the whatever that thing is called look too. The tie thing. For some reason, um, sorry, I, I'm also not going to know the members' names at all. I barely know them for groups I've been checking out for months. She reminds me a little bit of uh, Hani from EXID. I don't know why. Something about her... I think it's something about her cheeks, maybe. I'm not sure. But then I point that out. Ooh. 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 Okay. Please tell me who this member is. If anybody, if anybody's a fan of Arias or Arias, whoever this girl is, her facial expressions are like, actually, like, what? She's really cute. Watch with my luck, that'll be the one member who's underage. This instrumental switch up is like a lot. A lot of the synths are changing. I can't get over how clean that drop is. Oh, it's so nice. Where they just cut for a second, have like this is so drum and bass. 
Yes. Another massive. Si oh my gosh. Am I in love? I don't know. They say love at first sight is whatever. I don't even know where I was, where I was going with that. Please tell me who this is, and why her eyes are pulling me into her soul, and also why she looks so good with the choker, and why her <laughs> why her facial expressions are so adorable. Oh my gosh, every time she's on screen, I swear. Oh my, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to just talk about one member, but actually, I'm crushing, I'm crushing right now, I'm not even gonna lie. Are they saying their name, Arya? Oh, they're saying Moonlight Arya, that's the name of the song. For a second I was thinking that that's how you pronounce the name of the song, but, or the name of the group, but no. Nice sample work before the outro. That's cute. Oh, the synth work though. Oh, they're in a water droplet on a leaf. That's cool. Or not a water droplet. Maybe it's a giant water droplet. I don't know. That's a cool debut. That's very unique, actually. Arias. Arias. Moonlight Aria. Well, first of all, that's a straight like from me. Jeez. Um, I hope people are able to tell the difference even if like okay so like what's interesting about this song is like i said it almost feels like an edm song not even edm it's it almost feels like an electronic song not necessarily dance music but it almost feels like an electronic song first and a pop song second and i hope people are able to realize that rather than just lumping it into the um it's another edm produced k-pop song because this doesn't feel like it's produced like a pop song to me. This feels like it's produced very much as an electronic song um, with some drum and bass elements. And and then they built that around a pop song. Whereas, like, a lot of the times I think you have a pop song and then... Because, like, personally, I know there's been a lot of sentiment among a lot of people. And I see a lot of people saying this. Like... All right, we're th we're over the a the EDM produced K-pop songs. Like everybody's doing it, I'm past it now. Personally, I love EDM stuff. I listen to EDM music as I mean, I don't like I don't like go to festivals or anything, but like I listen to a lot of electronic music and did before K-pop and still do. So I'll take EDM produced K-pop all day, all day long. I will probably never tire of it. I know a lot of people are, so I hope some of those people hear this and don't. And they're able to recognize that this isn't necessarily um, in the exact same vein as this wave of EDM K-pop that, that we've had. What I will say is that the production on this is glorious, especially for, what was their their label? I saw it, it was like Starlight Entertainment or something like that. Let me see if they have a... I'm curious if they have uh, something in the comments here, or something in the description about the label name. I don't see it. Uh, it's not in English, anyway. But I, when I was looking briefly at the K-Profile, 
I just wanted to see, I'm pretty sure it's like Starlight Entertainment, which is like a subsidiary of another Star Empire, Star something. Anyway, point being, for a label that's not like S not not big hit or the big three. <laughs> um do we call them the big four at this point, guys? Is YG dropping out of the big three? I don't know how that whole thing works. But not big hit or big three. I don't expect this type of uh clear direction and strength in the production for a, a debut of a rookie group. And so this hits really hard in a lot of ways that I think make it unique. And I just hope people are able to realize that. Um, like, at first I was like, hey, is this this the right thing? This is a, a music video. Oh, the way they cut the instrumental for just a spoken bit. It's like, um, their dancing seems solid as well. They seem coordinated, seem like they're not, definitely not lacking in that area. Um, Vocals, it's always hard to tell in this type of song because that's not really what they're highlighting. But what was there sounded great. I mean, it's no no reason for me to doubt the vocals. Um, I'll have to listen to a live stage or something on my own time and figure out if I can actually hear the vocals a little bit more clearly. But so far, it seems, seems good. The dancing seems good. They're obviously all adorable. But geez, please tell me who this is at 48. Like... <laughs> She basically captured my attention the entire video. Like, you know this if you already watched my reaction. I swear it's not just because she's wearing a choker, guys. It's the facial expression. It's the eye movement. Like, that little eye squint when she smiles. Like, what is she doing? What is she doing to me? What is that? What is that? It's like, I don't even know. I don't even know how to express it, but please tell me who that is. Um, yeah, 48, 120, this girl. Whoever she is. There she is again at 234. Like, holy... Definite bias. Just appearance and mannerisms alone. Um, yeah, I like the outfits. Uh, I like the scenes. I like the lighting. I just like everything about this. It has, it's very good. And like I said, the production of it seems uh, unique to me. I just hope other people can see that it's unique. So, that's my take. Thank you guys so much for watching this. As always, I want to know how you feel about this song, about this video, um, and uh, if you are somebody who is a fan of Arias or has followed them pre-debut or any of the members or anything like that, um, please let me know anything you want me to know about them. I would love to know more about them because uh, this is a group I'm going to watch very closely going forward. So thank you. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, and please remember to stay newbie.